in bully block news submitted by El Capitan. Mm -hmm. Instagram will oh, Instagram will be using AI intervention in hopes to cut down on bullying. How do you do that? I think it'll probably like snag keywords and comments. But it can't read into sarcasm. Dude, I can barely read into sarcasm on text. That's a good point. It's fucking crazy on text. They need no, that on Twitter, not Instagram. <laughs> I wonder if there is a common bullying algorithm out there like, oh, if they say this, this happens in a lot of bullying incidents or whatever. What they're saying is that they have been using and testing this new AI feature that whenever someone posts a comment that's similar to something that has been previously reported, that's when it'll be flagged. Oh. And it looks like this. It's smarter it's like, than I thought. Are you sure you want to send them? Yeah, so it says like, you are so ugly and stupid. And then it says, are you sure you <laughs> want to post this? Learn more. And then when you click on learn more, it says, Keeping Instagram a supportive place, we're asking people to rethink comments that seem similar to others that have been reported. If we made a mistake, let us know. So they're making you like think twice before doing- Yeah, like, but that's gonna just become like another button to people to get yeah. through if you're really an asshole. Instagram is not a supportive place. Too. I was going through the comments and then someone wrote, no, what they should be doing is like, uh, are you sure you want to send this? And then it says like, uh, this is where your location is. I'm like, yeah. that's the fucking thing they should be doing. Yeah, it's yeah. like back it up. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people that actually do talk shit don't show their face. Yeah. It's not their account. Yeah. They have another it's a account. Finsta. Yeah. So for them, they don't give a fuck about that. Like. And why do they need this on Instagram? It just it's like Mark Zuckerberg feels bad for selling all of our addresses to Russia, and this is like his. <laughs> being like, oh, I'm doing something about the bullying and the hate. On I think there's a, a lot of studies that are showing a lot of teens have a huge spike in depression it because is, of Instagram, yeah. and especially in female teens, there's higher rates of suicides. Yeah, because everyone's yeah. comparing themselves to fucking Gigi Hadid. That's exactly right. Yeah. And yeah. That's why it's not a supportive place. Fucking blow me. It's, it, it, Instagram is a comparative reality place. Yeah. Be so, on it, sis. You know what I mean? I got a lot to say. <laughs> and I don't think anyone should ever be fucking revealed for posting something, no fucking way. What? You don't think no if someone's like, I'm gonna come blow up your school. Well, that's a different thing. That's a, that's a threat. I'm I talking about like posting like, hey, fuck you, you're ugly, or something. Like, I don't think it should be like, sick comeback, bro. We're gonna, I don't think it should be like, hey, we're gonna let everyone know you live in Albuquerque. Or yeah, doxing is weird, but I also, I'm kind of like 50 50 on the whole anonymous thing and showing your profile and full name. Like, I, I, I'm kind of, one of it is like, yes, we need it on the internet and the choice to to kind of be something that we're not, or, or just for other reasons, right? Because we it's like a different playground. It's like part of having privacy. Right, if you want to be private and have just like a character account or whatever, you can still do that, because that is a part of internet culture. Mm -hmm. But the other part of me is like, you fuckers that talk shit, show your fucking face. Because you don't think they would be mo more inclined to leave a comment if it's their real no. name, yeah. when they're just a fucking avatar and like blowjob 6969. It's yes. Like, they can get away with anything. Right. So and it's a form of abuse and it's it's but then there's other people that don't do that. But they shouldn't be docs or they shouldn't have everything online. I feel like you should not maybe show their location but like their real name cuz it's like if you're a fucking asshole show you're an asshole. I well, think their face. I, I don't agree. Cuz that's hard too cuz like I think it's just people expressing negativity or like a bad day. Cuz even like on the freeway Someone can just like randomly flip you off and just drive off real fast. Yeah. So that to me is kind of the same thing as people just leaving a comment. So maybe like, I feel like what it needs, like I want people to just be them, but maybe there could be like a Surgeon General's warning, like, hey, people could or could not be these people. They could be fake, but please like always take things with a grain of salt. Don't make it too serious. Yeah, but like that's environmental versus like what Instagram has become is the place where people are trying to show their best selves. And so if someone's constantly shitting on like your best self versus if you are like yeah. being a slow driver in the left hand lane, yeah. like maybe you deserve to be flipped off. Yeah, yeah, I, know, yeah. I just feel like what the platform is is the same thing what happened with YouTube, where it was like we thought YouTube was gonna be this place to share yeah. artistic creativity, yeah, 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 and it just became this like jerk off zone of fucking hate and yeah. there's no regulation of it. I think for me, it's more about people are gonna do what they want to do, and if they want to be it, like their highlight reel, they they can. But the the teens or whoever that are suffering from it, I think maybe there's a way we can help them 
change their perspective on how they receive this comparison. Oh yeah, there's no fucking support for people who yeah. get harassed online. If, yeah. I've gotten death threats before, like emails yeah. sent to my personal email. Someone once found out where I used to live based on like an old Instagram story where you saw my apartment complex in the background. Yeah. And they found out I had a guy show up to my house in the middle yeah. of the night once. Yeah. I had zero support. I had no resources. I didn't know who to call to like be like, this is fucking alarming. You don't have, there's no support system. So I think yeah. you're right. Like step one is start with the mental health aspect of it, of like, what do these people do who are the victims of it instead of That's true. hating it's on like, the fucking perpetrator. It's like someone being your, you know, big brother, big sister, being a, like helping you become street smart on the streets. We need someone that is like guiding the new generation to get go through the internet. Like how do you have internet smarts? Yeah. So you don't get fucking, you know, fished and you don't get scammed and you don't get calf, like whatever. It's like all these things, people just get, they don't learn unless it happens to them. Mm. Cause I'm of the AOL generation. You should probably mm -hmm. be part of like health class, you know, in high school where they teach you about your own body. You could have like a section. What to look out for. Where it's like being on online. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I teach my grandma how to avoid fucking cruise scams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking free shit. Timeshare scams. Every other Timeshare scams. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's one of the features. And then another feature that they're talking about is called restrict. And so this is what it looks like. So if you have someone that's bullying you, you can restrict that person. And then it says, uh, are you having a problem with so-and-so? Protect yourself from unwanted interactions without them knowing. Only oh. you and them will be able to see their own oh. new comments. They won't see when you're online or when you've read their messages as well. See, that's so tight. This is that's like, awesome. They're screaming into the void. Like they think that their comments being seen by others because they can see it themselves. And you have the option to approve their comment for the public to see if you've restricted oh. this person. But so a lot of people, what Instagram was saying is that Why don't just block they've shown, them? that's the thing. Yeah. They've shown that people, people start that new have accounts. been bullied, mm. they're too afraid to, to block them or to do anything else because then they'll, if they know this person in real life, then they'll oh, be like- retaliation. Yeah, oh, exactly. That's a really smart, like screaming into the void. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Cause then if you're having a problem with blowjob 6969, yeah. just fucking put them in the void. And they think that they're They think that something. they can yeah. see their comments. But you it's can't see like, what their comment is either. You can't see them? You can. Oh, but that's what sucks though. You don't want to see that comment. Exactly. That's, that's why you block them. But no one else can see but it. But no one else can see it's it. It's like if someone yeah. farted in, the, in your face, right? You still smell that. That's true, but I guess like... <laughs> it's better than the whole school laughing at you. Exactly. With someone farting in your face. Oh. Well, that's exactly true. But then you still gotta <laughs> attack the problem of like fucking trolls online, man. I think that comes from inside the house. Yes, for yeah. sure. Parents. But I think Bart's right about there's always gonna be bad people. There's always gonna be Bart. assholes, right? Hello, that's your name. So like... Bart Simpson. Yeah. So how do we deal with that? Because it's it's almost like, like well, we can't deny the the fact that there's always going to be criminals and bad people, right? So mm -hmm. like, same with online. There's always going to be trolls, negative people, people that just don't like you for for just existing. Yeah, for your face, whatever. I get yeah. people who are like, I think you have a very punchable face, and I'm like, I agree with you. What do I, what do we do about this? <laughs> Botox. Solve this. Yeah. I got a guy. There you go. Okay. Uh, in Santa Monica. Um, but like, do you think that the person who's doing the trolling that's gonna get blocked is thinking about the effect it's having on the person? Like, I feel like no. it's a celebrity. Yeah, they just feel like they'll never see this. I can say whatever the fuck yeah. I want. But if it's someone who's like in your grade at your school, are they really thinking about how that might affect that person? And do they no. fucking care? No, they're being shitheads. I mean, that's it, like, like Tiff said. It's like it's an educational problem, I think. Yeah. And there's also different forms of bullying. Like one might be like things getting out of hand because you're roasting so hard and you're having so much fun. And then one is like, you intentionally want to destroy this person because you're jealous of them or whatever. Or There's because just so you're different. going through your own shit, you want, because misery yeah. loves company. So That's a just, good point, because yeah. like, I don't know how you are with your girls, but like, when I see my girl and she looks good, I'm like, yes, you fucking thought, I love it. And <laughs> that might be screened as like me calling someone a fucking thought. Or how many girls call each other sluts and shit for oh, funsies? Yeah, all the time, you fucking right. slore. Right. Yeah. Slore? What's a slore? A slore. Slore. Slore, yeah. That's a new one. Really? That. Oh, that's age. Tessa, Tales is old as Time. Oh shit. That's an old one. And like I roast these guys, they roast me. It, like I would hate for, to lose that. Like, yeah. <laughs> you become closer. You become closer when you bully yeah, each maybe other. Yeah. They should have like another feature where you can like whitelist people. You know, from the thing about oh. are you sure you want to post this? It's like let them talk as much shit. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, that would be like, good. You should pitch that to them. Make some money. <laughs> if you're whitelisted, you can even post porn on my profile. It's like you're good, dude. I, I get it. it's all in jest, bro. We're we're cool. I just feel bad for all these teens that are going through like crazy depression, anxiety. Yeah. Because they don't know how to like separate they're, they're, it. Yeah, they're 
realism and like what they've experienced in the world is way different than we. Like we're stronger in the mind because we're always been through more shit. We've been like made fun of at the playground. If you're still like this emerging person, and there's this constant negativity. I'm like, fuck, how do you help them? Like I'm, I put myself in like, and I, I think when I'm like 10 years or 15 years old and Taika goes, oh, can I open an Instagram? I'm like, oh, I don't really want you to because it's going to fuck your brain up, but I also oh, don't want like to control you. you already? But you're oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is so cute. But that's what you were just saying. It's like, it's it happens in the hall. Education. It's like your parents can help guide you through this shit. Yeah. We learned how to do it because we grew up with it and yeah. we see how to teach. Like it's our so parents didn't know how to teach us and people that are teens right now, their parents may not know because they didn't have it or they're not as... Yeah, Woke. like Isaac, remember how before I was at, I was talking about how he never really, he kind of asked to have a phone. I have an 11 year old. Mm -hmm. And so now he does, he has been asking me like, mom, like, can, can I have a phone? And I'm like, it's getting real. Cause we've had these conversations about how I don't I want him to get like mentally phone. fucked over yeah. with everything that's yeah. online. And once you give them that access, See ya, here comes the porn at an earlier age, here comes the sexualization of I'm, women at an I'm earlier age. I'm jacking off so much. It's happening, there's studies dangerous. are showing so that it's getting I'm younger and younger. that's why I'm still kinda like, I'm kinda like, I'm like, we'll talk about it baby. <laughs> but I'm like, well cause uh, remember when you were like a teen, the way you got to see porn was like, at your friend's house who had like HBO un yep. unlocked, or like, yeah. you had to sneak on to like sex.com, it's like now, that's you have the like private- It's money mag. It should be. And it's crazy cause <laughs> our generation was, the, our parents were like, oh my god, what are we gonna do we didn't have porn period yeah. and now it's like the yeah. privacy of your own this oh, yeah. and you sleep with it it's right under your head yeah. at night it's like but then you also don't want to be the helicopter parent that's like i put I locks on my kids i know their passcode give me your phone and like when you do that you're revealing so much about yourself like everything about yourself versus just yeah. what parents need to know what what's like a healthy level of them now i mean i will assume as soon as my kid gets a phone they're probably watching porn with it fuck yeah but holy shit i mean like you said you can watch porn like this <laughs> and you're like i'm watching porn nobody can see me watching porn right yep. now like that's fucking crazy. everyone's gonna be addicted to porn or desensitized to it yeah mm -hmm. lots of what happens when you are addicted yeah you get desensitized. <laughs> that's a very good point <laughs>